Hey guys, welcome back to my glam garden. So today I will be talking about how I achieve my perfect full coverage foundation routine that's specifically tailored to me. So this doesn't always have to apply to you guys. Obviously you guys are gonna have different foundation colors, different concealer choices, and that's totally fine. This is just how I apply it myself. If you guys wanna take some snippets of how I do my routine and apply it to yourself, feel free. All right guys, so first we're gonna start by tying up our hair so we make sure that we don't get any product in it. This is the Mary Kay Time Wise Age Fighting Moisturizer in Normal to Dry. Let's start by rubbing this all over our skin so we are nice and hydrated. Next I'm going in with the Ulta Beauty Matte Face Primer. So far out of all the primers I've had, this is definitely my favorite. Just like the moisturizer, we're gonna rub it all over our face, getting any fine line areas like our eyes and very porous areas like our nose. This is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Take your favorite foundation, mine is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade R360. Go ahead and blend your foundation seamlessly with any brush or beauty blender of your choice. I only use two pumps of this foundation because it is very full coverage. I have a little bit of redness and discoloration up on the top part of, by my eyebrow. Just go ahead and blend that all together. Since this is a full coverage foundation, it will cover it perfectly fine. Now blend your foundation all together so there's no streaks with the beauty blender. Let's get rid of those bags with the Bye Bye Under Eye by IT Cosmetics. This is in the shade medium. Go ahead and put two little dots in each corner of the eye and blend out with a concealer brush. Feel free to use the excess from under your eye and drag it onto the tip of your cupid's bow, your nose, your forehead, and your chin. Yet again, blend it all together seamlessly with your beauty blender. Be careful not to add too much pressure underneath your eyes because your eyes are a very sensitive area. I'm taking the Ulta Mineral Powder in Fair 05 on a contour brush by Real Techniques to get in the small areas such as the sides of my nose, underneath my eyes, the side of my forehead by my eyebrows, and then my smile lines. Next take any fluffy brush to go ahead and powder the larger areas of your face like your cheek and your forehead. This brush right here you guys is my holy grail powder brush. It is absolutely amazing. If you don't have it, you should get it. Link is in the description box below. Let's dive into the Sculpted Cheek Palette, guys. This is in the style Natural. Take this beautiful matte bronzer and just contour like normal. Blend out with a big fluffy brush. Let's dive into this Manicarta Beauty Highlighter and Bronzer Duo. I'm going to be using the highlighting side. This is an absolute blinding highlighter and it's so pigmented, you guys. Going back into the Sculpted Cheek Palette in the style Natural, I'm going to take the Natural Highlighter down here just to add a little bit more of a glow. It was a little overpowering at first, but you know, blending it out can always fix it. But this glow is still so blinding. I'm going to take the Sea Out London Bamboo Bronzer and a Morphe M164 brush to contour my nose. Give it a quick little blend. And there you have it, guys. All done. Alright guys, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys would like to see in my next video. Have a great day, guys.